is the power function of degree n. So some textbooks use the phrase power function and some don't. So we'll talk about it here. We'll use it uh, here in our class. So when asked what equation the graph resembles for very large or very small values of absolute value of x, this is really what they refer to as the power function. So it's basically an, an equation that the graph resembles. Uh, and so it's, it's, it's related to n behavior. We actually kind of use that for n behavior because again, with n behavior, we want to look at the leading coefficient. That would be the same that you're gonna be doing here. So basically what this says is that the, the power function is a sub n x to the n. That is the equation that you're going to use. So a sub n is the number in front of the x that has the highest power there, and your n is the highest power that you have. That is your degree. So of course, a sub n can't be equal to zero. Uh, and then the, the n needs to be an integer that's greater than zero for this to work. So that's called a power function. So when you want to answer this question here, it says the graph of the function of this resembles the graph of what for large values of absolute value of x? In other words, what this is asking for is it's asking you to find the power function. All you have to do for this is just write down the leading term that you have here. So f of x equals negative 5x to the seventh. That would be your answer for this one. Now, you may or may not have to include the f of x equals. It all depends on how the question is worded. Uh, if it requires an equation, then you'll go ahead and you'll put the f of x equals, or in some cases, you might even be able to put y equals, depending on what they're asking for. Or in some other cases, if they don't ask for an equation, then you can actually just put negative 5x to the seventh instead.